Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 6 of this World Cup jersey review. We are looking today at the jerseys in group F. A very eclectic group because we have teams from three federations. We also have three different suppliers which is not so common given the dominance especially of Nike but also Adidas have quite a few teams and coincidentally we have two Nike teams. We have one Adidas team, we have one Puma team in there. As always, I'm going through this group uh, as by the seeding, meaning we'll start with Belgium, then uh, go over to Canada, then uh, Morocco, and we'll finish with Croatia, whose jersey, 2016 jersey, I am wearing. Every jersey gets a grade from me from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best grade. And at the end, you can see which jerseys I do like and which ones I dislike. Of course, I want to hear your opinion on these as well and we'll start out with belgium um who have a bit good things first i really like belgium in red with a little bit black and especially uh, that the kit is worn with black pants i think it's a much stronger look for belgium than the all red one it's my purse that that's my opinion i think they look better this way um the black shoulders maybe take some getting used to but i really like it the flames are a bone of contention. Uh, they are the red devils. The women are the red flames. So I actually think the flames, this will fit better on the women's jersey. But however, I get it, the devil lives in hell, they are flames. Okay, so, uh, so be it. I can see this going both ways. I mean, I've also even say this looks really, really tacky. And I mean, the socks of this kit are also full with flames, uh, which, you know, no matter how you fall, can be uh, something you like or something that is tacky. To me, it comes a little, um, it's a very US look in a way, you know, all the tuning scene with putting flames on uh, cars and, and, and so on. So, I mean, there is something to it. I gotta say I don't dislike it and I know people that do not like this one but I gotta say there's something about this that I really really like however I also gotta say it's not a total standout jersey uh, that you know I say I need to have this immediately I think for that it's a little bit uh, too much not Belgian in a, in a way or not used to it um, you know, for me, uh, a plain red with a little bit flag would probably look a tad bit better. But that also plays well with the, the, the flames. You know, you have the black sleeves and then you have the yellow and the red. It's kind of, you get a Belgian flag in there as well. So, you know, it's not all that bad. It's not all, all, all the bad. I'm also seemingly one of, one of the few who actually don't dislike the new Belgium logo. I really don't. I actually think it looks much, it looks... Uh, it's a modern re representation. It looks actually not bad at all. But you know, that's probably I'm my, I'm dying on this hill. <laughs> but I I do agree that the old one I still like a little bit better. Where to go with this one? I actually think, um, yeah, some people will now scream out. I actually think this is a seven. I think this is uh, it's not a bad shirt. Uh, then we have the away jersey, which honestly, uh, when I saw it, I thought this is really, really uh, nice, playful, colorful, whatever. It's of course a collaboration with Tomorrowland, which is this big electronic music festival, which me as a metalhead uh, already took it down a notch immediately. There is a love uh, on the back with the Tomorrowland logo. Uh, and that caused all kind of stink with FIFA because they don't like it because there's another commercial logo on there. Um, I think if this was just a specialty jersey that comes out because the festival's happening and the Belgium national team said, okay, we're going to play to promote this festival and so on, I would be all for it. I re there's really something about this. And uh, the funny thing is that uh, when I showed this to my wife, she absolutely loved it. Um, and same thing goes with my girls. Of course, it is colorful, it's a little bit there. On the other side though, to be honest, it's really a specialty jersey. I don't want to have this as a regular Belgium away look. This should be a one-off, uh, then this would be nice. So uh, that's the hill I'm dying on this one. 
The jersey itself, I really like it. I like the playfulness. I like the colors they pulled put in there. It, it, uh, especially the Adidas logo is awesome. The Belgian crest, uh, you basically don't make it out because it's so uh, colorful. Uh, it adds some much needed pep to a nation that's usually perceived like the Swiss a little bit on the boring side. So that I think I really, really like about this one. Also, you know, uh, the messaging and so on. All really, really nice. However, it's not a proper jersey. It's a specialty jer uh, jer uh, jersey. For that reason, I'm gonna give it eight. Um, if it was if it was a special jersey, I probably would go nine with this one. Crazy, maybe. Now to the big disappointment, and honestly, I was so excited when Canada qualified for the, for, for this World Cup. I really think this was something special. They were playing excitingly. Uh, they have been, uh, or they are probably one of the more exciting teams at, at this World Cup. But the big disappointment I made a whole video about that is that they didn't get new jerseys. Seemingly, it's down to the you know the federation being rather cash served. Nike not uh, step, stepping up as well. For me, this is such a missed opportunity. Uh, at least you can seemingly get this jersey at the Canadian Federation, but they are on Nike's website. They are next to unavailable, and they are the template that we had last time, like 2020 template, really as template as it can can be, with the uh, admittedly interesting looking sleeves. But it's just boring and that's the one one thing uh ever since nike took over canada jerseys are really 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 boring and they had actually some really interesting ones if you go over on the kid history i'm sorry with all the backstory with all the backstory it's a boring kit that i would usually give a four but that it's not even a new kit i gotta go three here uh because it is such a such a di di disappointment and it's really not uh, reflective of how I actually am happy for Canada being there. I uh, gotta say the away jersey looks a bit not exciting, but it looks at least the part. Uh, I think a uh, pairing of the red of the crest with the black makes it a teeny bit better. I'm gonna go four on this one. I really wish there was a little bit more and uh, we all know that the Canadian Federation crest needs desperately some work. Uh, I think go full Maple Leaf with Canada. Get rid of this soccer ball on the, the part on, on the bottom. I think if you make this a nice uh, Maple Leaf with a Canada lettering, that should be your national symbol. That ball is, it looks so 80s and dated. Get rid of it. And then we have the third jersey. And uh, in interest, Canada will wear all their three jerseys at this World Cup. Uh, I think this is the one they love, they love to wear during qual qualification and I can see that this being wildly popular and it all makes sense even the hockey teams wear uh, black from time to time. Um, it, I, for me this goes a little bit the way of the white jersey, however I wish maybe a little bit tad more red there but I, I, all black for Canada looks alright. I'm also gonna give this four stars again, mostly due to my disappointment of them not receiving new shirts. Moving over to Morocco. And the home jersey, when Puma released the home jerseys for uh, this World Cup, especially the African Kekan ones, uh, of course, the one for Senegal grabbed the attention, but for me it was the Morocco jer jer jersey because I got all the nostalgic vibes from 98. It's a straight reversal of the 98 home jer jersey, which was green with red, um, with the red accents. And for me, Puma going back to that is really cool in, in a way. This is a really, really nice jer jer jersey with feels. I ac actually think they were having this as a third uh, jersey as well uh, back in 1998. Do you prefer a 98 version? Yes, I do. Because I find the color a little bit off, but you know, with the new Puma head to temple and so on, it all looks nice. This is warm with green shorts. It looks glorious overall. I really enjoyed this jersey a whole lot. This is Puma going the nostalgia route, but doing it right. Even going with the centralized logo in between. 
just gives me the feels. Just gives me the feels, and I gotta, I, I, I gotta say, this is a nine star for me. Simple yet effective. And many people also hate the away jersey. However, I say of all the ones that Puma released, the Egypt and the Morocco ones are the best. And the reason being is a the box is not so prominent here. On the first glance, this looks actually rather normal normal uh, soccer jersey with a very intricate pattern that is kind of round. And I think a round circle of round the shirt to hold the number is much better. The one thing that ticks me off here is why do we have this beige center stripe? That is not needed. Again, I need to give Puma credit where credit is due. I think uh, having this box for the number, which uh, is a contentious idea, I, I personally don't dislike it, but it can work or it cannot work. Uh, as you see, I think here it works because it is this ornamented subtle pattern on there. But then pulling, because not everyone is going to get this customized, pulling actually the letters of the team in there is not a bad idea because it, make, it gives some purpose to the box. It's not an empty box. Again, the center stripe as already with Senegal, is the one that draws this, jer this jersey down. Otherwise, this is a really nice one. I'm going to give this an 8-star rating. Uh, stone me if you want. I actually do like it. And I'm still split whether I should get the red or the, or the white one. At the moment, neither one of those are really available. And moving over to Croatia. Who did, at the same time, a smart and a contentious move? Smart, because the problem with Croatia was that they played a federation where there are so many red kits or white kits that the checkerboards you are barely ever wearing. So basically, what you have to do is you have to decide to give one color the majority and they decide, okay, we'll make a white home jersey with some red accents. The sleeves, we have the full checkerboards and then on the body, we, you know, sprinkle it around. How about the pattern to me is too random. I actually think I would have liked this better if you just leave the torso plain white, as is the back, and you have the shoulders in the Croatia pattern. And actually that might be a good way moving forward for Croatia to, you know, as much as we all love the checkerboards. It is a kit that is almost impossible to use given current kit regulations because you need an opponent to uh, not play in red and white and red and white are the most common colors. So yeah, deciding on white, I think I could have also gone the other route deciding on red, uh, but I actually think the white looks good because uh, with the, paired with the white pants, um, it's all fine. That is okay. It's just the way that then the checkerboards are fading in and out that I do not really like. Uh, it looks like Croatia is losing its uh, checkers in, in in a way. I would have preferred white with red checker with 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 the checkerboard sleeves. So yeah, not my favorite Croatia jersey ever, uh, and that's why I'm gonna give this a three star. However, they redeemed themselves with a really really nice away jersey. Interesting enough, it doesn't look as cool in play. I saw it when this debut against Austria. But the idea of going again, we have navy blue and then the light blue. The idea, of course, being that this is um, the from the islands of the Croatian coast. I totally can see, see that and that's kind of fading out. It looks really, really nice. It's just that the one sleeve, um, the right sleeve, where it kind of fades away, uh, that's where it gets all a little bit lost and also the cut. Uh, there is a little bit in there, but overall, it's a really nice and pleasing shirt. That's one that's kind of on the underrated list for me of jerseys that actually I wouldn't mind having if I get to it. I'm gonna give this jersey nine stars. And there we have it. All the jerseys from this group are reviewed. Which ones did you like in here? Uh, where do you agree and disagree with me? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!